SWOT analysis, strengths, opportunities, weaknesses, and threats. In Portuguese, is a strategic planning technique used to assist people or organizations in identifying strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats related to business competition or project planning. It is intended to specify the risk objectives of the business or project and to identify the internal and external factors that are favorable and unfavorable to achieve these objectives. SWOT users often ask and answer questions to generate meaningful information for each category in order to make the tool useful and identify its competitive advantage. SWOT has been described as a strategic planning trial and error tool. The SWOT analysis is a tool used to perform analysis of scenarios or environments. As a basis for management and strategic planning of a corporation or company due to its simplicity, it can also be used for any type of scenario analysis. From creating a blog to managing a multinational, she came from the design school and is simple and informal. SWOT analysis is a simple system for positioning or verifying the company's strategic position in the environment in question. The term SWOT is an acronym from the English language and is an acronym for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Goals carry out a summary of internal and external analyzes, identify key elements for the company's management which implies establishing priorities for action, prepare strategic options, risks, problems to be solved. It is he who makes the company's diagnosis. It strengthens the positive points, indicates which points should improve, shows the chances of growth, increasing opportunities, and keeps you alert when facing risks. Advantages or opportunities conduct sales forecast in conjunction with market conditions and the company's capabilities in general. These scenario analyzes are divided into internal environment, strengths and weaknesses, integration of processes, standardization of processes, elimination of redundancy, focus on main activity, external environment, opportunities and threats, reliability and confidence in the data, immediate information to support management and strategic decision, reduction of errors. The strengths and weaknesses are determined by the company's current situation and are almost always related to internal factors. These are particularly important for the company to profit from what is positive and reduced through the application of an improvement plan, its weaknesses. The opportunities and threats are anticipations of the future and are related to external factors which allow the identification of aspects that may constitute constraints, threats to the implementation of certain strategies and others that may constitute support opportunities to achieve the objectives outlined for the organization. Internal environment strengths internal company advantages over competing companies. Weaknesses internal disadvantages of the company in relation to competing companies. External environment opportunities positive aspects of the environment with the potential to increase the company's competitive advantage. Threats negative aspects of the environment with the potential to compromise the company's competitive advantage. The internal environment can be controlled by company directors, which is not very difficult to understand. Since it is the result of the performance strategies defined by the organization's own members. Thus, during the analysis, when a strong point is perceived, it should be highlighted to the maximum. And when a weakness is perceived, the organization must act to control it or at least minimize its effect. The external environment is totally out of the organization's control. But while it cannot control it, the company must know and monitor it frequently in order to take advantage of opportunities and avoid threats. Avoiding threats is not always possible. However, planning can be made to address them, minimizing their effects. The combination of these two environments, internal and external, and their variables, strengths and weaknesses, Opportunities and threats will facilitate the analysis and search for decision-making in the definition of the company's business strategies. Strengths and opportunities make the most of strengths to make the most of detected opportunities. 
forces and threats make the most of strengths to minimize the effects of detected threats. Weaknesses and opportunities develop strategies that minimize the negative effects of weaknesses and that simultaneously take advantage of the opportunities detected. Weaknesses and threats, strategies to be adopted should minimize or overcome weaknesses and as much as possible address threats. How can we verify the SWAT matrix helps the company in decision making at the level of being able to maximize the opportunities of the environment around the company's strengths and minimize the weaknesses and reduce the effects of the weaknesses of the threats? This analysis should be complemented with a framework that helps to identify what impact high, medium, and weak factors may have on the business and what future trend improve. Maintain and worsen these factors have on the business. SWOT analysis is a kind of snapshot of the organization at a particular moment in time. The analysis can obscure the fact that both environments, internal and external, change rapidly. Don't forget to write yourself on the channel and leave your link.